For most of us, our financial life depends on making a budget and sticking to it. Meanwhile, rich people have so much spare cash just lying around that they're willing to pay near unbelievable amounts for a single horse. Prepare to make your eyes water. From a top-rated rare horse to the world's purest breed, here are the 15 most expensive horses in the world. <sighs> Number 15. Frisian Horse Breed if you're one of the average Joes of the world, you're probably not going to be dropping thousands upon thousands of dollars on a horse. But of course, some people are just so flush with cash that they can spend thousands on a Frisian horse without batting an eyelid. The price for a Frisian horse is usually anywhere between $7,000 and $100,000, with the average well-trained show horse coming in at around $40,000. There are many reasons for this. This, but a big one is that the horses are individually inspected, approved, and designated by the Frisian Horse Association, North America. Because Frisians are so rare in the United States, purebred Frisians are practically the closest thing to unicorns in the horsey world, which explains why people are willing to drop up to $100,000 just to own one. And yet, nobody's willing to donate to my PayPal? What's up with that? While it may seem like a contradiction, the Frisian is one of the most popular, rare horses you can get. Of course, assuming that you have a spare hundred grand just lying around waiting to be spent, and who among us doesn't have that, right? Please, PayPal me. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Number 14. Thoroughbred When you really pull all the layers back, thoroughbreds are the best in their field pun intended. And their field is racing, and when I say people pay out of their eyeballs for this, even that is an understatement. While all thoroughbreds tend to go for a surprisingly large amount of money, some go for frankly insane amounts. Take the winner of the 2000 Kentucky Derby for instance. Then when you try to start to do other things, your horse is very, very relaxed about you being on them. This thoroughbred, Fusaishi Pegasus, is apparently said to be the most expensive horse in history, selling for a near unimaginable $70 million. And if we go back to the 1970s and 1980s, the 174 offspring of a single thoroughbred horse sold for a combined $160 million. Basically, the thoroughbred is the kind of horse for a millionaire who has money to burn. Because who needs to donate to a good cause when you can just pay an insane amount of money for one horse? The thoroughbred is often highlighted as one of the best horses in the world, thanks to its long history as the racehorse of choice. But it must be said that while you can throw as much money as you want, it doesn't necessarily mean that the horse will be good. It will be good, I promise. Number 13. Dutch Warm Blood Unless you're a real horse lover, the Dutch Warmblood probably isn't a breed that you're particularly familiar with, but you probably should be. These things can be costly if the right buyer is interested, and, uh, rich. Because they're all for the rich, the Dutch Warm Blood is above all else a performance breed. Bred for jumping and dressage, its good temperament, strength, and general stamina make it one of the most desirable horses at auction, often going for anywhere between 4,000 and several million at a time. All that depends on whether the horse is an athletic sport horse, an elegant harness horse, or the Gelderland working horse kind. However, regardless of of the type of horse you happen to get, this breed continues to evolve, so chances are that the new owner will eventually end up with a more well-rounded horse. And an emptied bank account, but who among us doesn't have that? Depending on the specific type, the Dutch Warmblood can be a hugely expensive breed. As with, well, everything, people are more than willing to pay unimaginable prices for a good quality horse. Imagine having money to buy a horse. Actually, just imagine having money. Number 12. Cell Francais Here we have another horse that 
probably isn't well known outside of select circles. The Salle Francais is obviously French and after centuries of crossbreeding, only became publicly acknowledged as a unique breed in 1958. Since then, they've become a multi-million dollar horse breed. And then some. The Salle Francais is mostly known as a show jumping horse, although they can be pretty good at other categories too. In fact, some of these horses have been successful Olympic performers, so just bear that in mind when I tell you how much they sell for. Well, the average is anywhere between 15,000 to a few million. There are some very notable exceptions. In 2013, a world champion named Paloubet de Long sold for a whopping 15 million, making for one of the most expensive Cell Francais sales in history, which is horrifically depressing for those of us in regular work. The Cell Francais may not be the most well known to people outside of horsey circles, but the fact that people are willing to pay so much for it should tell you everything. This is a well-respected and celebrated horse for those that have a crazy amount of money just lying around in their bank account for no apparent reason. Yeah, today's video is mostly going to be rich people just throwing their money around. I apologize in advance. Number 11. Standard Bread Admittedly, the Standard Bread is not exactly a memorable or impressive name for a breed of horse, but what it may lack in creative naming, it more than makes up for with its apparent value or should I say the admiration of rich people, naturally. The standard bread has bloodlines dating all the way back to 18th century England. Although that doesn't necessarily explain why they're so valuable, all I can tell you is that this horse breed is one of the most popular with beginner riders, thanks to their muscular bodies and cooperative personalities. Perhaps that's why they sell, on average, for less than other breeds. On average, the standard bread can cost you between $500 and $5,000, making it one of the more affordable horse breeds. However, there are exceptions. In 2019, one yearling standard bread sold for a record $1.1 million at auction. So I guess records are there to be broken. The standard bread may sound like a dull name for a horse breed, but the numbers don't lie. Experts value this breed very much and are willing to fork out up to a million bucks just to have one. So to all you kids asking your parents for a pony, make sure they have a million bucks lying around first. Number 10. Hanoverian there must be something in the water in Spain. Just about every horse bred in the region ends up selling for a lot of money when they go to auction. Take, for instance, the Hanoverian, an elegant horse breed, to be trained and apparently bred to sell for thousands. The Hanoverian is an elegant, athletic horse once used for agricultural, military, and coach purposes. Today, however, they're mostly used for show jumping and dressage events, which naturally makes them a highly sought-after breed. And that's why people are willing to pay anywhere between $7,000 and $100,000 for the opportunity to own one. For a species with at least one Olympic gold medal winner in its ranks, that's a pretty fair price. Assuming that you're a big fan of horses, if not, there's a whole bunch of things you could do with that hundred grand. Like, I don't know, hiring the Muppets to come and do a live set at your local Ferris wheel? Why not? The Hanoverian has a long history of excellence, ranging back to World War II and beyond. This horse has pretty much excelled at everything that it's ever tried, so why shouldn't it sell for 100,000? I deserve to be worth that. Sorry, for a second there, I convinced myself I was the horse. Number 9. Oldenburg Oldenburg sounds like an insult thought up by a snarky, sarcastic tween in a movie written by a 55-year-old man. But it's also a horse, and what a horse it is. Named after dressage rider Count Graf Anton Gunther von Oldenburg, a real name, I, act I promise, I promise, it's a real name. This is one of the all-stars of international eventing, and it has a price tag to match. The Oldenburg generally sells for anywhere between 4000 and 500000 owing to its long history as, well, just about everything. These horses were considered so elegant and graceful that they've never really stopped being in high demand.
They've been used as war horses, given as gifts to rulers and military leaders, and even led carriages for notable people. Nowadays, they're world competition all-stars, famous for their high-quality dressage performances. And apparently that equals a half a million price tag. Still waiting for that kind of treatment to reach high-quality voiceover artists, but I can be patient. Clearly, the Oldenburg is worthy of that high price, thanks to its versatility and continued elegance, so don't be fooled by the name. Everything Oldenburg is Neuenburg again. Look, I hate that joke just as much as you do, but you really can't expect them all to be good. That is an unreasonable amount of pressure. Number 8. Arabian there are a couple of things you have to remember when talking about the Arabian horse. This is a horse built for endurance, genetically engineered to be fast, strong, and powerful, so it may surprise you to know that the asking price for such an allegedly perfect horse is pretty low compared to some of the other breeds. The Arabian can sell for anywhere less than 1,000 to over 150,000, which is still a lot of money, but far less than some lesser horse breeds. You'd expect, given its pedigree, that the Arabian would be one of the higher-priced breeds on the market. Well, apparently not, and it's unclear why that is exactly. Perhaps the fact that these horses are now all over the world has somehow lessened their value? Still, some of the most famous figures in world history chose the Arabian as their horse of choice, including George Washington, Genghis Khan, Napoleon, and Alexander the Great. So I guess it's really a bargain. The Arabian is by no means a cheap horse. In fact, it's unlikely that the average Joe would be able to fork over the $150,000 plus to own one. But if you're a wannabe Napoleon who's been saving up for something big, boy, is this a deal for you. Number 7. Holsteiner before you ask, no, the Holsteiner has absolutely nothing to do with the German beer. And yes, I double and triple checked. The Holsteiner is simply a multi-purpose German horse who happens to sell for an often big amount of money, and who among us can't relate to that. The Holsteiner typically costs anywhere between $3,000 and $50,000, a surprisingly reasonable price for a horse that once dominated the equestrian Olympics. The Holsteiner's history can be traced back centuries to German monasteries. These monks somehow managed to organize the Holsteiner to such an extent that over 30,000 of these horses were being exported by 1797. That's pretty impressive for the period. In terms of multi-purpose horses, the Holsteiner is without question one of the most popular and most celebrated. And at $50,000, it's clearly also one of the most valuable. How nice. We generally don't think of horses as being bred by monks, but the Holsteiner isn't just any horse, it's a $50,000 horse. And if you can't afford that, well, you may just find yourself closer to a horse that's holier than you ever could have imagined. Maybe. It could also just be a horse. Number 6. Gypsy Vanner how much would you pay for a horse that is good for one thing and only one thing? Depends on what it's good for, right? How about pulling carts and wagons? What are you thinking, 20 million? Well, PayPal me that money and I will accept it. I did not promise any horse in exchange. The Gypsy Vanner is used and shown exclusively for pulling, or driving as they say, carts and wagons, making it one of the few breeds that doesn't have multiple uses. However, that doesn't mean people aren't willing to pay a lot of money for one. On average, people pay anywhere between $4,000 and $30,000 for a single Gypsy Vanner making it one of the most expensive single-use horses in the world. But of course, they look pretty cute with all that hair on their lower legs, and they seem to be very, very pleasant to be around, so make that cash, homeboy. On paper, it seems like a lot of money for a horse that may only be used now and then to pull some carriages, but remember, these horses were initially developed by people that were always traveling, which means this is a pretty great investment if you hate your house. Number 5. Morgan 
You may not have heard of the Morgan Horse, but according to the internet, you absolutely should rectify that. According to the experts, the Morgan Horse is an incredible specimen of a horse, with one inexplicably praising its wit. If I lose my job to a witty horse, I will lose my damn mind. The Morgan Horse typically sells for between $2,500 and $4,000, and is particularly well known for its impressive ability to do just about anything. These horses have been used for show jumping, dressage, endurance riding, driving, racing, you name it, it's probably done. Which means this two to four thousand dollar price tag is really kind of a bargain. After all, where else are you going to find a horse that some humans have inexplicably described as witty? Not kidding, if this horse takes my job, I'm gonna go nuts. While the Morgan horse has perhaps missed out on a bit of the limelight, they're still incredibly popular with the people that matter. Rich people with money. And they're always more than willing to fork out thousands of dollars for the opportunity to own one. But can it make crappy jokes for a dedicated YouTube audience? I didn't think so. Seriously guys, don't replace me with a horse. Number four, quarter horse. No, don't worry, it's a full horse. It's just known as the quarter horse for some reason, but it absolutely is a full-sized horse and not one of those weird pantomime men in horse costume type situations. Trust me, I checked multiple times. The quarter horse is named for its ability to outrun other horses in races a quarter mile or less. On average, the quarter horse sells for around $3,500, which is a pretty reasonable price for a horse that excels at short distance sprints. Although, you know, who among us has a spare $3,500 just lying around to purchase a horse built to sprint short distances? Thankfully for those that do pay the full amount, the quarter horse has a lot more to offer. In fact, this horse is known to be used in everything from rodeos to show jumping, hunting, and even put to work as a ranch horse. So you get a lot for your money, I guess. I think we've all learned quite a bit about the quarter horse today. We learned that it's a full-sized horse, a multi-talented breed, that it sells for around $3,500. You know what? We didn't learn that much, actually, but that's okay because I'm just glad it wasn't two guys in a horse costume. I was really scared there for a second. Number 3. Appaloosa if you're on the market looking for a horse that weighs almost the same as an adult-sized giraffe, look no further. The Appaloosa has all of the niche requirements that you have. It's relatively affordable if you happen to have an unimaginable amount of disposable income. And in such a stable economy, who doesn't? That joke will really stand the test of time. The Appaloosa's history goes back to the 1500s, when Spaniards brought the horses with them to Mexico. Mexico. Those horses soon found their way into North America, where Native Americans began embracing this new breed. Over time, the Appaloosa became good at riding and, um, breeding. I'm not going to make any jokes there. The breed generally fluctuates between $1,000 and $10,000, depending on the horse's age and pedigree. But it seems experts today still love this classic breed. <laughs> The Appaloosa is a classic horse, so it's not surprising to see it make the list. They're high quality, strong, and incredibly beautiful horses that really have something for everybody. Unless you don't like horses, in that case, there's probably not a whole lot here for you. Number two, Andalusian. When a horse is described as an iconic breed, you better be prepared to pay through the nose. This Spanish horse is known in its home country as the pure Spanish horse, and it is most definitely one of the most desired horses anywhere in the world. The Andalusian is mostly coveted by those that hope to use it for shows and other eventing purposes due to its incredibly flexible joints. They're basically built for complex dressage routines, although the show quality horses tend to be on the higher side of the price range. Number 1. 
Still, that doesn't stop people from shelling out thousands of dollars for the chance to own one. On average, the Andalusian can cost anywhere between $3,000 and $60,000, though those show-quality horses generally cost $50,000 at least. Of course, many of those horses bought today are also used in Hollywood movies and television shows, so I guess they're pretty cheap if you compare them to… I don't know. Robert Downey Jr., the Andalusian, has long been celebrated as one of the most desirable horses on the planet, thanks to their calm personality and their impressive intellect. And now, apparently, their incredibly blessed bank account. Never thought I'd be jealous of a horse, but here I am. Number 1. Lipaziner on the surface, you'll probably be thinking that this is a strange choice for our list. Costing just 4,000 to 5,000 euro, it sounds like it's far from the most expensive horse in the world. But technically speaking, they're expensive for a whole other reason. Let's get into that. The Lipizzan horse is highly valued for a whole bunch of reasons. From its natural beauty, its expressive eyes, muscled legs, I could go on. But it's mostly valued because of its slow maturation process. This is a horse that lives longer than most other breeds and is active for far, far longer. The Lipizzan horse can still perform complicated and difficult exercises all the way into their 30s, which is a crazy feat. Of course, this means that the owner will have to maintain the horse's cost for a much more extended period, making it one of the most expensive horses you could ever own. In the world, there are only 10,000 Lipaziner across four continents. These are relatively rare or uncommon horses, celebrated for their longevity and impressive capabilities. But to own one is a pretty big commitment due to their own long life. If you buy a Lipizzan, you better be prepared. That sucker may outlive you. What's the most you'd pay for a horse? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.